The Seasonal Prediction Project, or SPP, is helping Pacific Island Met Services to produce tailored outlooks for a wide range of users, including planners, scientists, and farmers. The Seasonal Prediction Project involves climate and ocean monitoring and prediction, and in some cases it involves long-term climate change monitoring. Fiji Meteorological Service provides a sector-specific bulletin for the sugar industry in Fiji. It is a collaboration between Fiji Met Service and Sugar Research Institute of Fiji. It involves tailoring outlooks for the sugarcane sector in Fiji for sugarcane farmers. We provide the climate outlooks, so rainfall outlook, for example, temperature, air temperature outlooks, and as well as other climate variables. Through the support from COSPEC, we have ventured into providing them with sub-seasonal outlooks as well, from weekly to monthly outlooks. The new Access S system is helping to provide enhanced seasonal prediction products. Access predictions are more robust to climate change, so are more likely to be successful in the future than historical statistical methods. Whenever we use Access S, we have more confidence that our forecast will be accurate. In terms of Access S, we can forecast anywhere around Vanuatu. You can tell me the name of your village. We can actually forecast what type of climatic condition for your specific village. So yes, this is very important for us uh, here at the Med Service. The Climate Change in the Pacific Report provides historical climate change information, including trends in rainfall, air temperature, tropical cyclones, and sea levels. This is helping Pacific Island countries adapt to climate change by helping them to understand long-term changes in climate. The Seasonal Prediction Project also supports special ocean outlooks, such as coral bleaching alerts. The Ocean Climate Outlook Forum is a great platform as it gives a setting where the national meteorological services across the Pacific Island countries can come and talk about the latest uh, ocean and climate information data. The Sea Women in Melanesia, we introduced the coral bleaching alert and outlook to them through the ocean portal and they were quite engaged with this product. This product may help them in future coral bleaching events so they can deploy technical assistance to carry out the coral bleaching alert in a more timely manner. Early Action Rainfall, also known as EarWatch, has been designed to support national disaster management offices. SPP includes the Early Action Rainfall Watch product, which is looking at predictions for extreme rainfall for Pacific Islands. We have assisted the National Meteorological Services in terms of training them to produce the EarWatch bulletins. We've also assisted the Met Services and their primary stakeholders with delivering information to communities via social media uh, and radio bulletins. The EarWatch activity is critical for areas recently affected by drought, such as the Northern Cook Islands. These watches normally to prepare the community, of, especially those ones that are starting to feel a pinch on the amount of water that's coming in on a monthly basis. Where COSPAC took us, we, we are now uh, in the same level with other countries in the world where we can be proud of what we are doing because you know, when you talk about seasonal focus, sub-seasonal focus, we, we are really doing a good job. It gives us more confidence in providing focus for specific locations and also that gives the confidence to our stakeholders to use our products.